So guys, welcome to the walk through, the walk over on Sim Racing Expo. Guys, we are in the main entrance area and you know what, we just get going from left and right through the different type of booths here. And it is going to be a little bit repetitive because you will find a couple of booths that are presenting some stuff, some hardware, some of them have just plain sim racing rigs down there so you can check some check some new stuff here we are with a simufi they are running iRacing they're running their own alloy rig with a lot of personalizations however there is obviously a bunch of these booths where you can check a lot of simulation stuff and a lot of hardware here we see I think it's an LMP3 car that is um, at the big Azatec move and you, uh, you can see that they have all sorts of stuff here they have own equipment they have formula car this is like actually a pretty fun rig like a uh, sim being put into a formula student car so that is something to to try out for for sure uh, maybe we can get some content with that behind that they have a wall with all their equipment that you can buy from all sort of pedals all sort of wheel bases wheel rims you see a shiny shiny wall of rgb led um, steering wheels hanging there at the board yeah moving on from Azatec over to Sopec and Sopec is also a manufacturer especially I think they're a little specialized on LED as we can see here a big huge um, LED screen on a steering wheel a couple of quick releases um, this is particularly interesting like a standalone um, standalone LCD panel here so that is their booth obviously you can try that stuff in action with their sim as well um, here greetings to Jaroslav Honzig the Jardier that is his race car being on the Venom booth uh, also they are here with some iRacing rigs and generally I think their prime product is this um, it is a load cell. For a second, I thought it might be a hydraulic panel system. It's interesting, like here, you can put your foot in, make sure you don't uh, drop out of position. So that's looking really nice. Right. Um, something very important straight ahead the food booth. Now we're going to get a little bit of lunch later on. Uh, right now it's Friday, so if you wonder, um, it is a rather empty scene right now still. And this is not particularly extremely empty, but you know, like on a Friday, you wouldn't expect that many people having a free time to check out. So here we are then with MME Simsport, and they have all sorts of gadgets showing out here. So some raw materials from, I think, a completely alloy welded rig. Is that even aluminium? Could also be like stainless steel. Might, might rather be stainless steel than alu. Because it got some, uh, as it's welded, and it got some, like it, it is a bit sunblasted if I see that correctly. I see some structure in there. However, they have something very, very interesting. Because as much as there is a sim racing rig, they got a gearbox with a shifter. Can you pull on the shifter? So you see, as he's pulling on the shifter, that gearbox is changing gears, it's giving impulses to its hydraulic uh, movement. And you can see down there that the gears are also working. And you see in the, yes, the thing snapping left and right. So that is an absolute interesting technical part of the MME Simsport booth right here. Thank you. Um, moving on then, Simmagic and R Seeds, those are one of the guys that are showcasing AC Evo as a beta or as a pre-alpha version, as an early access. We're gonna have a run 
in one of these sims later on. This is actual game footage from AC Evo here. In comparison to that, you get the old AC1 um, right next to each other. But I guess you guys are particularly interested about that AC Evo. And we're going to figure out how it works, how it, how it drives. A lot of interesting stuff here on Sim Racing Expo as we're about to move on towards the next couple of booths. Obviously, besides sim racing manufacturers, we have all sorts of uh, also non-sim racing, um, sort of non-sim racing uh, booths here. This is even something medical. They work seemingly with a technical university of Dortmund with having a Formula student car there. Moving on then into the next row, here we have SRG1 Sim Racing Gloves and Com360, costing 90 euros or 80 euros. Um, external stitching, I think Yane might be particularly interested into these as they have external stitching. Um, you can buy them here straight away. Might perhaps get a pair of them myself. Let's let's see in the end. Um, moving on then. That is a bright, bright booth. It is together with race room. I think it might be the actual race room booth. And I got to say, that is a bloody amazing looking BMW race car here in Red Bull colors. What has catched my eyes here? Look at this machinery from the back. Holy moly. Look where the exhaust is sitting. Rear view camera, a big spoiler actually. That's not a standalone spoiler. Some good diffuser down there. So that is an interesting machine for sure. Looks a little bit like a NASCAR configuration even. Um, as you can see, you know, shifter on the wheel sequence shifter might be a drift car i think i saw some some drift wagon sticker at the back there but yeah that is the race room they are here with a couple of sims and then we find pro sim U. Um, i haven't quite figured out yet whether those guys are running ac evo or something different. Um, I think it's AC1 at the minute because when we are looking into that triple screen down in the right, that looks like the old AC1 setup. But you hear no no headphones, lots of lots of noises. So obviously we are behind the Asher, uh, not behind the Asher, behind the Azatec booth. Now here we are with Asher Racing. This is where the confusion is coming from. And they showcase all sort of stuff. Their rigs, their steering wheels, they are on race room. Uh, I think they are race room all the way. And um, I gotta say, it's the first time also I do see some LED wheels from Asher Racing. Uh, I have to admit though, I didn't went too deep into it. I know a lot of people are absolute fans of Asher Racing of a good quality um, or a good quality sim. Here you see a McLaren rim together with a third party, well it's not third party, it's just their own, but like a detached LED at the top of the screen. They also brought a McLaren and it says don't touch the car, so we're not going to touch the car, but as you can see this is like a real, real thing. There's a good smell of, uh, of fuel also coming from the car. And as you can see here on the bonnet or on the side patches, uh, Robin is racing. This car was into service. Very interesting. The spoiler at the front creating a little bit of downforce on that McLaren 720S. And Jesus, that car is like so flat and slim. It's interesting. Obviously, you don't see these kind of machinery too often, so always good to see that through. Right, uh, then we have actor races. Many of you guys may know these actor races. They've been on the market for quite some while. They keep redefining their 
simulators and uh, eventually at some point we've done a 24 hour race of them. Then let's go on, Conspits, uh, the booth that is now in collaboration with Lauren Heinrich. GTD champion, I think, in the IMSA Sports Cup Championship this year, if I remember correctly. And I gotta say, that one is pretty nuts. That's catching my attention right there. Um, just have a look. That is like a pretty damn sick. It's AC1, it's a 360 degree um, beamer actually, and a 360 degree wall where you can see the stuff happening. Pretty, pretty impressive. So, may have a look into one of these later on. I'm filming right now. I may come back to you. Thank you. Um, obviously, I'm doing this in one take. This is a little bit of an issue. Anyway, they have a huge, a huge booth. Lots of stuff happening there. But generally, you see in what kind of direction this goes. Uh, we have a lot of manufacturers of sim gear, of wheels, of pedals, um, of all sort of gadget and equipment that you can pimp your. Uh, your rig at home. Uh, here we have the SRS Sim Race Shop, and that is very interesting because here you'll find a lot of. Hi. We'll find a lot of uh, gadgets, uh, gloves, those carpets, um, all sort of stuff to like change or personalize your rig. Obviously, they also sell rigs and and normal kind of um, sim racing equipment, so pedals, wheels, rims, all that kind of stuff. Um, here is like a wall of their displays, a lot of Asher wheels you can see. I think Sim Race Shop at the end is a big retailer though, as we see Asher, we see here we are with um, GSI, GSI Hyper P1. That's a lovely little baby what I would love to get my hands on. They sell quick releases and as you can see here on the shop point, um, all sorts of gadgets that either goes on your rig, go into your peripherals. There's also a shop where I should probably have a stop by in the end. Right, uh, moving on. And before I start turning in circles here, uh, you see it's slowly but surely getting more and more crowded. Here we have SimuCube. Um, SimuCube with its active pedal. That is obviously something I need to get on over the course of these three days at some point. Just to know how it feels, just to know what it is in comparison to the things that we already know from home. Um, so that is going to be something I'm going to stop by. Here you see all sort of equipment from them that they are selling, as we've spoken about, the active pedals, uh, steering wheels, wheelbases, um, all that kind of stuff. And if I'm not mistaken, they should also be, is that SimLab with a Mercedes rim? I'm quickly, I'm quickly looking, because I saw the Mercedes rim somewhere here already. And I think it was it was a different booth though. So I mean, I'm still getting a bit confused. This is a huge trade fair this time. Um, something I would like to show you though is um, that we are here with a GSI, and GSI got also new gloves. I think um, they went into the direction of these. Um, a lot of grippy sticky material like not even the painted stuff is sticky also the non-painted stuff so it is like the same the same grippiness all around regardless of the design and then of course you see a lot of a lot of wheel rims that they have with them they all showcase them uh, wherever you are you can take them into your hands see how they feel how you're liking the weight of this um, obviously is a bit more um, well, it's a bit 
limited as in like you have to see the animation and kind of imagine what it does on your rig um, which is a little bit of a sad story because if I think about and they have one testing rim and to me that's a little too little I would have loved to have more rims because uh, more rigs because there's only really one rig that you can put yourself into and um, and test hands on the equipment there. Anyway, the P1 Sim guys are here with some rather extremely interesting things. Um, as far as I'm concerned, as we see one driver here sitting in that booth, and you see Spa with a Peugeot and whenever that guy is driving the people in behind are going to get the same motion you see the rig is shaking the rig is going left right so are the seats behind so that is a pretty interesting simulation like how does it feel being in a hypercar how does it feel being in a car being shaken around this is the D-Box booth, together with Peugeot, I've already mentioned. Um, so here you can test the D-Box system as it moves with the hypercar that is on AC1. I'm pretty sure though, that sim inside here, I could have sworn I saw a more ultimate on that. So we're going to check out on this later for sure. Um, then a little bit of a highlight of my time here at Sim Racing Expo. This is the Cooler Master booth on a truck and they are a little bit joined forces I think with um, on the right hand side there is a oh boy um, on the right hand side that is a manufacturer of a sim but they both belong together and I'm gonna be here for most of the time, today two hours, tomorrow two hours, and on Sunday two hours as well. Capturing content, helping out. So I'm gonna go be with these guys and we're gonna have a quick look up there. Here on the top end of their trailer, you find four simulators and they have some very interesting stuff going on. So you see you're backwards tilted all the way here. However, as you can see down here, it is like a rear wing attachment, like you can adjust the tilting of your simulator as much as you want, lay down as it is an F1 car, sit upright as it is a GT car, whatever you feel fancy. That is a, a quick way of customizing um, your rig. They run Musa Racing here on, on that rim. I need to check if it is the same on other rooms as well. Um, I think here they even run a GSI. Yes, I can see a GSI logo there in the center. So that will be interesting to, to find out. And what I love a little bit about that rig, about that booth, as you can see, you have a grand overview about a couple of things here. You have an overview about what's what's going on right in the near located booths around you. Then as already mentioned they are in partnership with a different um, sim manufacturer but you can see already these motions motion booths there of the Cooler Master rig and it is the very same thing that we've just seen on the other side you see at the back you can adjust your position uh, it moves quite smoothly I gotta say um, so hopefully at some point we're gonna have a, a chance to to try out on these right then moving on um, something I have skipped in the meanwhile is the cube controls Mercedes branded booth uh, you see a lovely DTM car, Mercedes GT3, um, and obviously Cube with their Cube controls wheel. Also, very interesting designs. Um, they are running on the Simu Cubes wheel bases with their Mercedes rim and also their Cube control rim. This looks all very fancy, but you know, at this at this stage, I'm kind of starting to. Uh, 
to repeat myself. Here we have Alpha and Bavarian, what were they called? Bavarian Simtech. Um, so apparently another wheel manufacturer. And like, you get a little bit of the impression that the market is getting oversaturated with all type of manufacturers of stuff. Um, so surely an interesting development where the overall branch is heading. Then we are talking about Logitech, and Logitech has a real huge booth. They have, I think, 20 or 30 sims, all equipped with play seats, with a Logitech, um, with a Logitech pedal system, with a Logitech wheelbase, with Logitech uh, wheel rim, of course, Logitech headphones, everything. That is not a play seat, it's from Logitech here, which totally makes sense. But the interesting part is that Logitech is also picking up on the general trends in sim racing and going not only to, you know, provide the entry level of sim racing equipment, but they are starting to get their own direct drives and so on. Um, Quick look over the Fanatec booth. They are here in a collaboration with Red Bull, as we can see. They have interesting Formula One style um, simulators here. The same as, in, like, it is probably self done, like everywhere we can see the Fanatec branding on. Um, they are showcasing their F1 rim in F1 24, I assume. And of course, as per usual, as on the other expos that we've seen, they're obviously showcasing all their different rims here and stands. They have a huge, huge stand, as you can see. A lot of stuff's going on. You can hang around here a lot. Um, I think there's also, <coughs> excuse me. Um, you can also like do a lot of content here, as we have like uh, lights, and all that um, that helps improving the overall lighting. Um, yes, so moving on, for those of you that wondered, I got distracted a little bit, absolutely. For those of you that wonder, like, I haven't counted all the 30 sims that you were talking about on Logitech. That is correct, because as we can see, there is a competition going on. There is another 10 or 8 of them here. Here you'll find how everyone has started, the kids have started, like the gaming room uh, with everything attached to the desk in your childhood's room. So just to have shown you that those are the remaining 10 simulators missing on the count that I did before. Then we have Sabled Racing. Sabled obviously is all about seats, it's all about um, belts. It's actually that is an interesting material here. Like that is rock solid, you may, may be able to hear it. Uh, I have to probably have a look into these uh, because I think that way you can most likely very much pimp your own rig at home. Then we have Imsim. And you guys may remember Imsim, we've done that like four or five years ago. Big motion rig. I think that thing here is costing a good 30, 40, maybe 50,000. <clears> we will find out at some point when we're going to talk with Thiago about this. Um, then we head over to Camus. Camus Race Sim, uh, they got their own products. Uh, you can also book yourself in here with a pad. Um, I haven't had hands on yet on, on Camus products. I will probably have to try them out. I think it's an Asian uh, manufacturer. You also see a little bit of telemetry down there, which is interesting in a, up to an extent. Um, I gotta say though, if you look at the rim where the buttons are located, I'm not 100% sure if that would be something for me. However, 
that is good fun. Like a mini cart, either for your kids, either for yourself. That is a fun little gadget they have around here. Right, um, another real big one, and that is crowded literally since all day, is the booth of Nitro Concept together with Case King. Obviously we know Case King is a huge manufacturer and a huge sponsor for these, um, these Nitro eSport people. They showcase ACC, they showcase AC Evo, they are obviously in a big collaboration. We can see with Musa, we can see with Nitro, we can see with LFM. And let's face it, because we're in Germany and I think the big player base on ACC together, thanks to Marbix being a German streamer and his teammates being German streamers as well, um, a lot of Germans have a so-called home play like it's very easy for them to pick up and uh, check them out at the sim racing expo this year so that is probably the reason why that is so crowded not saying it's not international uh, but certainly a lot of german speaking people a lot of germans anyway are coming to to yeah to find marbix to find all the streamers and they are having a great time. So here we are at SimLab, and I got this confused back then. SimLab here with a Porsche rim. But of course, the thing that interests me the most is that Mercedes wheel. I gotta say, it looks pretty neat. I've seen a couple of reviews. Personally, very, very unsure. <coughs> into whether it would be something for me, whether I would want to run it. Um, but certainly I'm going to give it a try here. I want to give it a try. I want to check it out. Here we see the Mercedes wheel again in action in a 360 degree sim. And you can see here we have the iconic Mercedes LED way of, uh, of the display so you guys may remember my Acura GP and you guys obviously remember about the Mercedes on boards from F1 so this display is looking exactly like the real thing which is why it is licensed and why it is so interesting especially for me as a Mercedes fanboy then we found our friends from Traction GG and SimGrid, the Grid Finder, not SimGrid, sorry, Grid Finder. Um, they are joining a booth, and obviously, those guys are they are in an interesting position when it comes to the market itself. Like Rafa Martinez was on a shopping spree lately, uh, a quiet traction, a quiet SimQuit, uh, sorry, Grid Finder. Um, I hope no one is going to accuse me of fake news. Um, he also now, um, I think, bought the race, 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 where we did our eSport races in uh, 2020 when Corona struck. Um, they're running, I think, really solid rigs, Fanatec material. Uh, Fanatec wheelbase, Fanatec wheel rim, Sparco seats, um, Fanatec pedals, and obviously, is it Odyssey G9 Samsung Ultra Wide screen? I think it is. A curved Samsung Ultra Wide. All these rigs being the same, same. So that is interesting stuff here for sure. Then we are at Hyundai. And Hyundai is not only showcasing a road car and a race type of car, they have a very interesting booth as you can buy some merch, get some stuff. But the fun part is here. Rear wings, rear spoilers, brakes, uh, brake systems, brake rackets, brake discs, uh, 
steering wheel like that is an actual road car steering wheel that you can buy here. Racing belts. Uh, I think that is some door. So some stuff for the doors. I'm not sure. Yeah, metal door scuff. Springs. So that is very, very interesting indeed. However, even more interestingly, and since this is way too crowded here at the minute, I'm going to quickly go by and get a sneak peek up here. They have a couple of sim rigs and they got a full booth as you can see. Lots of people sitting left, right and centre. Checking a race currently going on. And I think they do that every two or three hours. A couple of uh, qualifying runs, a couple of um, practice laps and then they have a short race. Here then we see the main stage where the Sim Racing Expo is usually either showcasing, doing interviews and whatnot. In the very back we find, find VRS Racing with Pablo Lopez. Gonna check in with him later on as well. And very, very hidden in the very back end of the hall, you'll find this. I saw the reel when they unloaded this from the truck and I got like goosebumps because that Pagani was almost scruffing the floor and I think the car itself has a value of 3 million euros or something like it's a crazy crazy amount that um, that it costs however it's part of Racing Unleashed booth, and Racing Unleashed just brought one of their latest sim inventions with them. Um, not sure if I'm gonna go into that rig, but I'm surely gonna have a run in one of these. You guys remember two or three years back, I have been in Zurich uh, doing some races with Racing Unleashed, and that is known to be the second um, the second generation of their high-end F1 simulators. So and actually that's almost gonna do it. I'm gonna go a little bit more backwards on, on the stage here on the show. Um, you find a couple of food stuff here in the back. Uh, we've seen official FIA people from um, yeah, from Paris. Uh, lots of food stuff out there. And the reason why I'm just not stopping the video yet is because of this left lane. That is what we're looking at it as a final shot, as you can see over the entire um, over the entire expo here. Here we have Simrig. Like I said it before, it is now kind of repeating itself. Someone either showcasing equipment or simulators as such, or, 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 but nothing too crazy new anymore. Maybe one thing, and that is part of the Fanatec booth. I think you can get in here as a streamer, as a content creator, give AC Evo a run, create some content around it. I want you to see if I can dial myself in into one of those sessions. So really need to see. Yeah, and then here on the left hand side, again, Sim racing hardware, that is also a fancy, fancy motion rig. Um, VC, no, Fognath, that is. Looks very spacey. If you're looking at it from the front, it's also very loud. I would need to give it a try to like really judge it. Uh, for personal feeling. Um, the Racing Hub data to victory. So as you can see, they are explaining some telemetry stuff here. And I think this is, this is their, main, their main selling point, really. They are selling software where you can compare your performances versus someone else. How that is feasible for the market, personally, <clears throat> I need to see, I mean, it's very great that we have this technology, this kind of software there, but I think we need to see how it, 
how it goes, whether you can make a solid business out of that. Because I think most of the guys that are running telemetry are using only a fraction of it um, rather than have it full. Here we are with Esselit Sim Racing. They have a couple of rigs there. And then, of course, we're back at the beginning. We see here ADAC with Nürburgring Esports. Yeah, and guys, that is actually it with the walk around. We have seen most of it. Again, there was a couple of, I want to say, hello there. Uh, there was a couple of redundancies, uh, not redundancies, uh, re repetitions. It was a long night here last night, so please bear with me. Um, so yeah, that is it, the Sim Racing Expo this year. Um, fully crowded tomorrow for sure, when we are on, on Saturday, I think that's going to be the main day. Um, hence I'm trying to do the stuff right now so that you can see the best of it. Guys, let me know what you think, put it down in the comments area below. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed this.